Hello world, this is What's Up 2190 and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to configure a Tor Relay on Windows 7, 8, or 10 using the official Tor Relay software. Tor is a system that protects your privacy and freedom online by helping you well, making you harder to track and beat censorship by bouncing your connection through different nodes and we're going to be setting up our computer as one of those nodes that Tor can use via the Tor browser. So what you're going to want to do is go to the site and download the Tor Expert Bundle. The link to the site will be in the description. You're going to want... Then the file you just downloaded will extract to this folder. You're going to want to, to extract this folder that you just download and go to the folder that says Tor and run Tor.exe. This is an important step to do because it will actually create the file documentaries where we're going to be configuring our relay. But, and what will happen is it'll pop up with a message saying like whatever Windows file directory is not Tor, Tor dot slash T-O-R-C is not present, assuming reasonable defaults. What you're going to want to do now is go to your Windows run command and, and, and use that to pull up whatever directory, file directory it says when it says that message. You can just copy, paste it in, and it'll pull up this. Now what we're going to want to do is go back to the folder we extracted and select and copy all of the files that we over to the over to the roaming folder we just opened using the run command. And then you just want to edit, copy, and edit, paste the, everything that was in that Tor folder we extracted over to, over to the roaming folder. Now what you're going to want to do is right click and go create new text document. And you're going to want to name this new text document T-O-R-R-C. Here is an example relay configuration. So what we're, that you're going to be putting in that new text folder that you, we just, that you just made called Torque. T-O-R-C. So where it says nickname, you want to put whatever you, you want your relay to be called on the network work after a space, after it, where it says nickname and then a space. And then where it says exit relay, reject, do not run an exit relay from your home. Because remember, whatever people are using Tor to do, it will look to the ISP like in, pe in people watching your internet connection, like that traffic that people are using Tor for is coming from you. So do not run an exit relay from your house. And then where it says contact info, you want to put a working email address because Tor will basically, basically no email you if they, notif if they see something your relay isn't working correctly but keep in mind that email address will be publicly listed on the Tor network for anyone on the network to see and then where it says OR port you need to make sure that that port is open for port forwarding on your firewall after you've done all that click save and then close the torque document you made copy the directory don't try starting tor.exe because it's not going to recognize the torque fi configuration file as a text file. Instead, what we're going to want to do is open up the Windows command prompt and paste the file directory where everything, where the roaming folder is after cd slash space like I have here. And then that will tell the Windows command prompts to points to where, where to the directory where we've installed and set up tor. Then what you want to do is use the Windows command prompt to run the command I'm currently typing in right now on screen to start Tor. 
tor.exe space dash f space torrc dot txt. And for me, it's going to come up with an error because I'm already running a Tor process on this computer. But for you, that should start Tor and it should start running a relay. And if your relay is successfully up and running, you'll get a message saying, congratulations, self-testing indicates that this QR port is now reachable. So your relay will, will see more traffic the longer and longer it's online without being interrupted. So that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. This is What's Up 2190, and I'm signing off. Have a nice day, and I'll see you next video.